Hey everyone, this is Lisa from The Scented Life. Um, so I just got home from work. Um, the sun is starting to go down earlier, but it seemed like there was still some good lighting and I wanted to go ahead and do this today instead of waiting till the next time that I had time to do it. Um, but I did get a package from my last order from Midnight Daydream Wax Co. So I wanted to go ahead and open that up for you guys and go over it. Um, it did have a padded envelope around it. I did take it out of that, but I haven't opened the box that was inside it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hold on just a second. packages no joke um by the way i just want to say one thing um when i opened up the padded envelope and took this box out i could already like smell the goodness from the package so <laughs> just one thought i had when taking it out and i had to share that um all right so this is my latest order um Oh, thank you. Uh, there's a little candies that he sent. Thank you, Harrison. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to go over the samples first because these two, I know I didn't order these. So um, let's see. The first one is pumpkin cheesecake, apple butter, caramel, and whole wheat bread. Limited edition sample. Happy Halloween 2019. Oh, look, it's got the little, Let's see if I can get that to focus for once. No, still not focusing. Okay. Anywho, let's smell this. Oh, wow. So for this one, definitely get uh, a nice bit of the creamy pumpkin. It's like the cheesecake. Definitely get that apple butter and caramel. And it does have a little bit of a little bit of a breadiness to it, but it's not like a French baguette, like you're getting a heavy, heavy bread. Um, oh, that one's gonna be nice. I'm excited about that one. Oh, this one is Rustic Farmhouse. Oh my goodness. Literally, I just saw the post with the notes for this. I can't remember all of them, but it had something about raspberry leaves and strawberry seeds and oh my goodness. So it sounded like amazing and it smells amazing. It almost has a little touch of like an effervescence, but it's not like a champagne, but there's something in there. Um, God, that's really nice. Um, I'm excited about that one. So let's see. Oh, um, I got Cherry Wood Hills Library. This is Cherry Wood Pipe Smoke and Aged Leather Bound Books. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so right away, anything that says books, I'm all about it. And this one is amazing. Um, wow. Hold on, I gotta smell that again. You definitely get that, like, you get the bound books, you get the little touch of leather, you get that cherry wood and the pipe smoke, but it's not heavy, heavy smokiness, but this is really good, and if it does well on warming, I'm going to want, like, a bunch of this one. This is really good. That one... And I keep going over it, but it's like, 
really nuanced. Yeah, there's almost even like, um, I want to say a fruity freshness to it, but it's real subtle in there and it's just brightening all that up and blending it. So I don't know if that's the cherry wood itself, but there's something in there that's, it's just really good. So that is a winner on cold. Um, I reordered, which I've had the candle and the wax melt, and I absolutely love this one. It's Autumn in Salem. Um, it's smoldering autumn leaves, birch, guac, and evergreen wood. And this one... This one is like super woodsy a bit of spice it's got the leaves you're getting that evergreen wood you're definitely getting that um those notes um uh, this one is just a continual favorite i will reorder this every time i actually had one last one ounce scent shot that i just used not too long ago um well, actually just this last weekend, because I knew I was getting this again. I wasn't going to use it till I got it again. So um, a favorite for me, definitely. Um, I also reordered Crystal Lake. It's Palo Santo, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cafe Americano. This one I've had before. It did really well. Um, it's not super heavy vanilla bean noel so it's not super super sweet um so if you haven't tried this one yet um i get like that nice smooth cafe americano with that touch of the palo santo and it really just smooths it out rounds it out gives it the extra it is so so good i had to reorder this one i love it um so that was a reorder for me uh, this is new to me. This is Haunted Hippie. It's patchouli vanilla, sweet woods, and a touch of ripe plum. So I personally really like patchouli scents. Um, and then when they're in blends, I mean, I really enjoy them. So I had to try this one. Um, let's see. Oh. That plum is really, um, you're getting like the woodsy scent. It's a sweet, you know, there's a sweetness to it. The patchouli, I wouldn't say is overbearing. Um, it's not like just a patchouli scent with the touch of other stuff. You're, um, that plum really brightens it up as well. I'm really enjoying that in this. Yeah, that, that's really nice. I like the touch of fruit in there um, with that. So let's see. So the next one is Under the Oak Tree. This is oak, sandalwood, patchouli, and soft amber. So I um, individually even love all these notes. So I was just really excited to um, get this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to smell this one. Let's see. Oh yeah, that you're getting all of those. You really are. That is that soft amber in there is just really kicking this off. That oak, I love it. Um, the sandalwood and patchouli, it's just blending really nicely in there. Um, yeah, that's really. I mean, if you like those scent notes, this is really nice. Um, yeah, that's, that's a really nice woodsy one. Um, I'm going to enjoy that one for sure. Um, another reorder, which actually was I did a haul with and an empties with not too long ago, was Orange Cream Latte. Um, this one did really well for me, so I reordered it. It's Vanilla Cream Latte with a hint of orange citrus. This one took me by surprise. Um, I was glad to see it again on there, and so I grabbed it. Um, really, really enjoyed this one. It is that creamy latte scent, and you do get that bright and 
brightness from the citrus. It's like a sweet citrus. Um, really unexpected, happy surprise with this one. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy that, um, that one right there. And forgive my hands, like, <laughs> they're all tore up. I got, like, cuts on them, and yeah, it's just been a weird week. Um, so the next one was um, Rosemary Mint Sweater Weather. Um, I like rosemary, I like mint, and I love sweater weather. So I wanted to see what this was all about, because those sound right up my alley. Um, let's see what they are blending. Yeah, that's like, um, that's like sweater weather extra. Like, I would say that's, I'm liking that one. It's definitely not your typical sweater weather, that rosemary mint. You're getting a touch of the mint, and you're definitely getting that rosemary. I really like that, though. I love those scents. So, for me, this is probably going to be a win. We'll see how this does on the warmer. But I really like this one on cold. Um, and I'm all about these scent notes right here. So, um, then I didn't, it wasn't a huge order this time around. Um, but I did get the cute little spooky zucchini pack, um, with the cute little shapes. You got the witch's hat and the jack o' lantern and pumpkins. Um, so this is spooky zucchini. It's zucchini bread, candy corn, Celtic Moon Spice and Sugar Cookie Dough. Um, as much as I love notes like this and like this, um, I love bakery just as much. I really do. I love zucchini bread um, blends. I, I enjoy them. I love candy corn. I love the sweet ones. So, um, yeah, let's... That's like, um, I'm definitely getting a lot of the spice. Like I think the, um, the Celtic moon spice and the zucchini bread are like the forward parts of this, uh, at least on cold smell. Um, and, um, yeah, it's not like you're getting a touch of sweetness. I'm really liking it. Um, and you are getting a little bit of that dough, like you're getting that background of the dough. Um, this one's really nice. I love those little shapes. Little shapes, they're so cute. So um, that was one of the packs that I got. Cute little, you got the pour date on there and you got the little graphics, that's really cute. Um, and then I wanted to try out um, a couple of these grubby cakes. Um, so this one is pies. Um, let's see if it'll focus. Pies on the windowsill, pie crust, roasted chestnut, sandalwood, vetiver, and vanilla caramel cream. Um, oh, you're definitely getting like. Definitely getting the roasted chestnuts, a touch of that sandalwood, all into a bakery. It's not, um, this one's not heavy caramel to me. Um, you do get a creaminess. There's I'm not getting, there's a touch of freshness from the vetiver, um, but I'm not getting like, uh, I mean, like, a big amount of that. It's just kind of freshening it up. Um, but I wouldn't say this is heavy on the caramel. Um, definitely getting that roasted chestnut bakery, a little touch of the sandalwood, kind of rounding it out. Um, yeah, this one's interesting. Um, there were several choices for um, this category, and I, I picked two of them just based on the notes. Um, I can't remember what the other ones 
This is a Requiem for a Daydream. It is Spearmint Twist, Pink Sugar, Blue Cotton Candy, and Frosted Birthday Cake. Um, so I'm a big fan of... of sweet mint type scent so I mean I love um just those type peppermint spearmint you're getting a touch of the spearmint it's not heavy on it um but it is like a this one's really interesting um getting a touch of that pink sugar but I wouldn't say it's heavy on it have to take this one out let's see yeah sorry for the lighting it's kind of changing i keep smelling this one this one's really interesting um i'm i'm curious exactly what will come out um with that in the warmer um i'm not getting like a heavy heavy cotton candy um it's not super, super sweet, but it, it is like a sweet spearmint and you're getting some of that pink sugar. Um, I am getting a little bit of the birthday cake, which is just giving it like a bakery note. Um, but it's not heavy on it. Like it's not like a dense cake to my nose. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to jump on here real quick. Like I said, I just got off of work, so probably going to be the only one I'm going to do for today um but yeah I just wanted to share thank you so much for the samples they're amazing um and the little candies um thank you Harrison and yeah you guys have a good evening and uh I will talk to you later bye